All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 20, and we are continuing to convert measurements from one to another, and we're doing that in some word problems as well. So for this, it says convert, show your work, express your answer as a mixed number, all right? So if we have a fraction, uh, we want to convert it to a mixed number as uh, possible. So uh, we're going to continue that technique that we learned in the last video, which is to say, all right, so we have three and five-sixths feet, and so that's going to be, that means we have three and five-sixths times one foot. So we have that. Now, because we're converting into inches, we want to change one foot into inches. So that's going to be one foot is equal to 12 inches. So now we have 3 and 5 sixths times 12 inches. Now we're going to multiply. A couple of ways we can multiply this problem. Uh, the, the traditional way is to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. So 3 times 6 is 18, and then 18 plus 5 is 23. So we've got 18, 19, 20, yeah, 23, 23 sixths times, and then we've got times 12. And um, so that means we've got 23 times 12 over 6. And as we've learned before, that the 12 and the 6 have a common factor. It's 6. So 12 divided by 6 is 2, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. So we end up with the answer of 46 inches. And really, I dropped the inches, so I should have inches here, inches here. So the answer is 46 inches. So another way we could have done that, another way to multiply, I'm going to share a kind of a little bit of a for some students, they think it's a shortcut. So we're going to start with this line right here, and, and I'll do it in red. So you get 3 and 5 sixths times 12 inches. Now, what some students like to do is they like to do solve this using the distributive property. So that would be 12 times 3, and then 12 times 56, uh, 5 sixths, and then add those two answers together. So the first would be, all right, so... 12 times 3 is 36, and then 5 sixths times 12. So 5 6 times 12 is 5 times 12 over 6. And then we see that 12 and 6 have our common factor of 6. So dividing them both by 6, 12 and 6 become 2 and 1. And then our answer there, 5 times 2 is 10 over 1, so the answer is 10. So we have an answer of 36, we have an answer of 10, and so when we add those two together, you get 46. So 12 times 3 is 36, 12 times 5 sixths is 10, you add those two together, you get 46. So that's another way to solve this problem. Now that's not the standard way, that's just using the distributive property, but I thought I would share that with you anyway. So on this one, same basic problem, only now we are converting 33 months into years. So same process, let's write that down, 33 months, and that's equal to 33 times one month. And since we want to convert it into years, one month is equal to a twelfth of a year. So that's 33 times one twelfth of a year. And so 33 times a twelfth is 33 times one over 12 years. And 33 times one is 33. Nothing, there is no reducing or simplifying that we can do at this point. So the answer is 33 twelfths. Now, we're going to, um, we need to change it to a mixed number. So we're going to go over here and we're going to say, okay, well, 33 twelfths. Well, that's 12 twelfths plus 12 twelfths. That's 24. If we do an additional 12 twelfths, 
that would be 36 twelfths, and that goes too much. So 24, we actually have 9 twelfths left over, so that's our 33 twelfths. So that's one whole, that's one whole, and so this is equal to two holes and 9 twelfths years. But it doesn't say we have to, but let's, it, we, let's reduce or simplify. So that 9 twelfths, and I'm going to zoom in here, 9 twelfths, both the 9 and the 12 are divisible by 3. So we get 2 as our whole number, and then 9 divided by 3 is 3 over... 12 divided by 3 is 4, so our answer is 2 and 3 quarters years, or 2 and 3 fourths years. Whoa! Get back here. And so, ah! <laughs> it's going crazy! I don't know why. Go away. Okay, so the answer is 2 and 3 fourths years. And the last problem for this video. Uh, Horace, he buys two and three quarters pounds of blueberries for a pie. He needs 48 ounces. Uh, so how many more pounds of blueberries does he need to buy? Man, there's a ton of different ways to solve this problem. I'm only going to show you one of those ways. So it's 48 ounces, and we want to convert that into pounds. So 48 ounces is equal to 48 times one ounce. And because we want it in pounds, not ounces, so one ounce is one sixteenth of a pound. So that's 48 times a sixteenth. And so that's 48 times one over 16 pounds. And we can see that both 16 and 48, they're both divisible by, now I'm going to jump to a big one here, I'm, they're both divisible by 16 so 16 divided by 16 is 1, 48 divided by 16 is 3, and so our answer is 3 pounds. So Horace needs 3 pounds. So this right here, he needs 3 pounds. He has 2 and 3 quarters pounds. So what does he need? What more does he need? He needs one quarter pound more of blueberries. And that is the answer for that question. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 20, where we are continuing to convert measurements from one to another.